Alan, thanks so much for joining us. We are just watching your training before. How does it feel to be back on track? Yeah, it's good. Um, obviously, it's been four or five months since I've uh, been out here, so to be with the boys and, um, you know, they're getting ready for a NEFL Grand Final, which is exciting, and, um, yeah, to be able to prepare with them, but also for my own, um, you know, for me, knowing that I can get through training and hopefully through a, through a pre-season, so that's why I'm out here doing a bit of contact and stuff, so it's good. And how's the collarbone holding up? Yeah, really well. Um, so I've been doing contact for two weeks now. Um, you know, was, we, we did everything right the last two rehabs, it's just the way it's gone. Um, we've taken probably three or four extra months this time, um, so the season was a write-off. Um, but yeah, I, I think in the long run, um, I think we'll, we'll be fine. It, it feels really strong and it was a bit of a different surgery with the bone graft from the hip this time. So um, hopefully, or you know, you can't be certain of anything, but um, yeah, it all goes well. How, how tough have the last few months been for you? Uh, yeah, pretty tough. Um, it's exciting. Like I, get, I see these young boys playing and um, you know they're going really well and I'm seeing the improvement in the team and um, I really enjoy the way Fags coaches. So I think I can really fit into, into the mould that they want. Um, so it's been frustrating not being able to be out there and um, improving. But uh, yeah, look, it's tough not playing when it's your job to be an AFL footballer and you've been out for like 14, 15 months as I have been now. Um, yeah, it's pretty tough. Does, is the desire there though? Is it stronger than ever? Yeah, absolutely. And I think I have a little point to prove as well. I feel like a lot of people have probably written me off and um, you know, I probably haven't played my best footy up here in Brisbane. Um, I've probably played patches and um, but yeah, I've, I've, I owe the fans a lot, I feel, so um, I know my best is in front of me. I've, I've missed a lot of footy, but um, with my rehab coach, Salwyn Griffith, I think um, he's put plans um, for me to be faster and stronger, and um, yeah, I definitely see my best footy in front of me. It's great to hear for us Lions fans. But just um, going back to what you were saying with the younger guys around, are you taking on a sort of coaching, mentoring role for the young boys coming through? Yeah, I've been um, on the bench for the NEFL, um pretty much the whole back end of the year so I've really enjoyed that. Um, I've probably seen myself going into coaching after, after footy so um, yeah it's been something that I've really enjoyed and um, Harney, Mitch Harn, Neefel coach has given me first crack at the boys before he gets on the phone and gives them a gobful but um, yeah it's been good uh, uh, to be able to develop that side of me um, hopefully that makes me a better player where I can be a sort of on-field coach um, as I've been able to see it um, from a coach's point of view now so yeah I've really enjoyed working with these younger players. It must be quite satisfying to see their turnaround last year only winning three games now they've made a NEFL grand final. Yeah absolutely um, and we were getting beaten com pretty convincingly last year and um, yeah just to see the development of some of the players and then some of the young boys who have come in, um, Oscar coming in, I know he's a more mature player but first year in AFL system and winning NEFL best and fairest and um, was really good on the weekend. Uh, Cedric Cox, Mitch Hinge, Jacob Allison all just taking a step up and um, made us a better team and uh, I think a strong NEFL team makes us a better AFL team and a club in general so yeah, I think it's a, a step in the right direction that we're in a NEFL Grand Final.